What is good, you guys? It's your boy Joey Sings, and welcome back to the channel for a brand new video, honey. Yes, y'all read the title right, y'all. We is getting back into Tempest. I know it's been a minute, y'all, but he done released a brand new video. Something about can he make a viral Roblox game in less than an hour? And I said, wait a minute. Oh, this sounds interesting, honey. So listen, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. But if you was not a backup singer, go to become one. Smash that subscribe button as well as hit that bell to get notified when I upload brand new videos like this. Here we go. I'm finally free to be me, to be me, to be me. No more hiding, no more lying. This is me. This is. Alrighty, you guys, I got the video pulled up and I'm pressing play. What makes a successful Roblox game? Well, let's find out. Me and my three friends have one hour to make the best Roblox game we possibly can. On new accounts, of course. We then advertise our games and let them fly. Will any of our games blow up and get lots of players? And Ooh. how many Robux do we possibly earn? Well, before we get any Robux or players, we first have to actually build the games. So I'm making a dang space obby, like uh, low gravity, cool. <laughs> I was thinking the obbies get a lot of players and they're pretty easy to make. So it was kind of a no brainer. A moon slide, a rocket, aliens, meteors. It was beautiful. My space obby was complete after an hour. Or maybe closer to like two hours. We might have needed that a little so extra cool. time for thumbnails and ads. But once our games are all done, we play tested them together. Check it out. Space obby. Pretend that there's a thumbnail here. Whoa! Oh, 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 Space Obby is a pretty fun game. It's well made, but it's kind of a generic idea. Will it be enough to succeed though? Well, we'll actually find out quite soon. After we advertise our games and get players, I'll show the results to see whose game was the most successful. And let me tell you, these guys had much better ideas than Space Obby. Oh my goodness. What do kids like doing? They like the getting bingo. scammed. Not scam. Alright, so I knew this scam would be a little bit hard, so I needed the help from a reputable celebrity, Dennis Daly. So I got him to do a voice line. It's me, Dennis Daly, and Lin Lin 2's games, the real deal. Perfect. <laughs> it's me, Dennis Daly, and Lin Lin 2's games, the real deal. That's time, that's time. Oh yeah, sorry I was lagging. I Yeah, I, I just heard that, now I'm done. <laughs> oh, Albert was in a rush, man. You must have been cooking something good. I, I think it's great. So we start off here. We've run into a little bit of an um, issue. I got a warning for... So I don't know what they're talking about, but I will apologize <laughs> to them. Get prize big games plus has them official. Oh, and no. Oh, my. So as you can see, they'll see by me that I am not with the whole scamming. They know what to do. <laughs> oh, is that? <laughs> Oh. Oh, hey, that's voiced by Dennis, who has 9 million subscribers? Whoa! I trust this game now. I'm gonna go hit my daily reward. First Dennis' go. daily reward? Yeah, daily reward. You can stop to get your daily oh, reward. Oh, another daily reward. <laughs> yep. Another daily reward. Okay. You can grab one right there. Whoa! I just made Whoa. you rich in Pet Simulator. Come to my house, winky face. <laughs> why, is he, why, why is he winking at you? Watch TV with me and chill. Then it's certainly yeah. approved of all this, right? Yeah, I read all this yeah. by him. So yeah, <laughs> bye bye. That was my tour. I hope you guys liked it. Wow. I mean, Albert's game is pretty cool. Wow. As Dennis, but it's quite manipulative. Wow. However, there is a chance that all of his little tricks could actually keep players hooked. Will his tactics pay off, or will they get his game in trouble? I'm excited. Find out soon. <laughs> Laugh approached things with a pretty clever scheme, actually, but I won't reveal it quite yet. I'm not gonna try to even make it a good game because, let's be honest, I'm bad at making Roblox games. I'm very bad. So instead... No good. I hope that this game does not get the most players out of everyone in the video. That would be genuinely disappointing. <laughs> 
Evil Brad. Mud game is plus one pizza tower every second. <laughs> that's that's good that's idea. awesome. You can earn money. You oh, can role play. The same guy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Millions, a demonstration. Millions of dollars. <laughs> this is the ad. <laughs> Let, let's see. There's somebody in the game. He's, he's waiting for you to role play with them. Get in there. No, he's, no. Gone. he's gone. He left. I'm making money. Running. Oh. No. No. Look at this cool character <laughs> I have from uh, Pizza Tower. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let, let's hey. explore the different areas we can role play, guys. Let's go up in the treehouse. Dude, get me out of here. Uh, my money's right, too my big. My money's too big. Did you realize it would be this small? I did not check. Mario's in this game. That's actually Pizza Tower character. Uh, Mario. Mario. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I, I put oh, most of the effort into this. Dude! <laughs> what do you do to me? <laughs> what do you do? Get that back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'll save you. I'll save you. I'll save you. <laughs> this has a lot of potential, man. I do like the permadeath feature, that's really cool. Yeah, the permadeath feature! <laughs> so, in case you haven't guessed it, Laugh's idea was putting all of his time into presentation, and little into the actual game itself. But will marketing be enough to get players? Eh, we'll have to see. So yeah, Laugh's game has great marketing, it's trendy, but it sucks. Like, the game is just terrible. <laughs> but now... That's Evil Ken, the main character of my scary obby challenge. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just playing an obby right now, instead of utilizing my time. <laughs> uh, Grandma's screaming, she's on fire. But there's some finger licking good hot dogs. <laughs> uh, but you're not gonna eat those hot dogs. Snoop Dogg loves those hot dogs, not you. Oh. Escape All right. Uncle Ken's school lobby. It's not Kenny from <laughs> South Park, so they can't sue me. Alright, so you start oh, off. Yeah. I give you prizes right away. <laughs> oh, sorry. Dude, I'll be paid. Don't do Piggy, no! Oh. So oh. Do don't do Floppa, either. I'm the last one left. There's not one South Park more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is going to show us where to go because he's our guide today. And now oh, yours doesn't school. work. Oh, God. Can you um, not get that? Oh, <laughs> Dude, this is really hard, man. This is really hard. I just wanted it to be, like, for OG Roblox player. Snoop wow. Dogg says we are restrained and we are small now. And that's big hot dog. He really likes hot dogs. Big hot dog. Then you gotta watch out for the big floppy fish that totally kills you if you touch it. Youch! Ah, oh, I, owie! I almost died. Oh! Oh, oh no, we died. Rip legend! Oh, right. And it's the winner section. Chain uh, smoker's dog. This is a Awesome. They're drowning and they're dead. That was great. That was actually great. That was awesome. The Katie's game was pretty fun. It was trendy, but it was quite glitchy. However, I did let him fix anything game breaking to give his game an actual chance. With our games now ready for launch, oh, all we here we go. Players. So Wait, we okay, who we rooting for? Who we rooting for, y'all? Okay, I feel like people like a good scam, so they might go to the Flamingo. But Tempers actually put thought into that one. But I also like the dollars up here. And this one over here looks scary. I would play all four of them. I really would. I would play them all. I'm just saying. Me, personally. 20,000 Robux to advertise our games for 24 hours. Yeah, really expensive, but we could make our Robux back if we get enough players. With all of our varying strategies, whose game would see the most success and why? For now, we all went to sleep while our games gathered players. We logged in the next day, eager to see the first results, but something was wrong. In our recently played games, we noticed there are only three games, and there should have been four of them. Oh, just a warning. Oh, oh, oh not no. great games to offer Robux as a prize. I did not do yeah. that. So Albert's game got deleted. I really can't think of a single reason oh, they this to Albert's poor game. This is not good for our results though. At all. This game is kind of disqualified now. But for now, I'll show you how these games are doing after 12 hours of advertisements. Although keep in mind, these numbers do not tell the full story, and we'll get into the specifics later. There are still 12 more hours in the ads though, and these 12 hours could change everything. We let the ads run for 12 more hours, and at last, we had our results. In this magical envelope, I'm going to show you the visits, the robux, the stats, but not yet. Oh. Before we get into all that, I present to you. What should I call it? What should I call it? Oh wait, we're just sticking to this now. Um This is oh, your yeah. oh, 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 
Dude, you're dressed like you're coming to a funeral. What's up, man? Who died, Albert? My game died. So the oh. first award, the most dislikes award, goes to laughability. I'm sorry for what I did. I shouldn't have done what I done. Be a idiot for this award. <laughs> sorry. All right. All right. Uh, next, we got the. I am putting my <laughs> monitor actually. What's what the heck? The next award <laughs> is the cool award. And okay. this award goes to yours truly. Hey, yeah. 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 Congratulations. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> is he doing alright? Hey guys. Alright, I'm, I'm here to present the next award. The next award is the Dennis Award. Oh. Yeah. This award goes to Albert B. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> it's like I'm hitting us with a boogie bomb. <laughs> Alright, that's that award over with. Oh. And that's all the awards we have, folks. <laughs> we all got an award! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. okay, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We have one more special award. The next final award is a special one that goes to a special someone. And this award is... Uh... And why are you standing up? The Tempest Award. Oh, <laughs> the Tempest Award. <laughs> Tempest! <laughs> and this award is the Best Game Award. And this award goes to... Kaden! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Kaden. Oh, wow. thank you so much. This is awesome. You're looking yeah. fine. Hey, all right. I'll take a seat too. I have two seats uh -huh. yeah. now. Two seats. All one this little dance. You low key looking actually really good though. <laughs> so now that that's out of the way, we have our results. Just to simplify things for now, I'm gonna rate each game on two categories. One, popularity, basically how many visits or players the game had. And two, feedback, based okay. off the like ratio of the game and how long players played each game for. My game was not too popular, probably because it was a blind idea. However, it does have pretty good feedback, so it's cool. Okay. Albert's game, uh, he can get half a star for trying. Last game was insanely popular. So popular, in fact, that a scam tycoon game had stolen his exact game icons to try and draw players into their fake game. Laugh, this is not your game. What? <laughs> so his strategy worked a little too well, I guess. Oh, dang. However, Laugh's popularity was all at the cost of very unhappy players. People definitely hated this game. Even Albert's game had better feedback than Laugh's game. <laughs> his game literally got banned. <laughs> Finally, on to Caden's game. Caden's game was fairly popular, and his feedback wasn't good, but oh. it wasn't awful. So overall, Caden has the most stars, and I think he technically won the competition. But now that we have our results, we can now see what worked and what didn't work. The ideal game for this challenge would have good marketing, but also fun and engaging gameplay. Well, wait a second. Why don't I just try that myself? If I wanted this to work, I was going to need to model my game after a trend, like last game. And luckily, the perfect trend was on the horizon. Skibbity toilet. If you haven't heard of it, oh, it's Lord. Skibbity toilet is everywhere. These strange toilet characters, and it's absolutely exploded this year. Love them or hate them, these little dudes are quite popular, and I designed Very my entire so. game around them. But little did I know at the time how much this trend was about to blow up. I named my game Skibby Toilet Run, and had some help from Laugh on the marketing side of things. And then, it was finally time to advertise the game and see the results. Oh, dang! Eh, maybe the piano's a little too dramatic. So the game did decent, not oh, like wow. super omega viral, but a pretty decent success, especially compared to the other four games. Granted though, I had no time limit for this game, and I even had help coding it, so it's not a super fair comparison, but hey, this set of all passed our little competition now, and it's more just for curiosity. Oh, <laughs> now we can finally look at the Robux. So, 
To be completely honest with you, Roblox games don't really make money unless you add in-game purchases, which none of us felt really comfortable doing, nor did we really have the time for it. But I can do some very rough math to estimate how much Robux we could have made, and Roblox has these things called premium payouts, which do pay some real Robux. So my game would have made about 1,143 Robux. Now this seems pretty good, but you gotta remember, we're all like 20,000 in the negative because of the advertisements earlier. Albert's game would have made nothing, probably. <laughs> But according to my math, about 149 Robux. My math says that Laugh's game would have made 600 Robux, but let's be honest. Any money made from this game would be like an accidental purchase from a drooling toddler on their iPad. Ian's <laughs> game would have made about 725 Robux. Okay. And finally, Skibby Toilet Run would have made 2,734 Robux. Not bad. But as you can see, we still lost a lot of money. The only way I can recover from this financial hit is if you use my star code. Ah! I get paid by Roblox every time you use my code. So next time you're buying Robux, think about it, okay? But anyway, Anyways, I'd be lying if I said this was an overall successful experiment. Those results aren't actually that great. Most successful Roblox games get anywhere from 100 to 500,000 active players. Oh and wow! after our ads stopped running, our games pretty much entirely died, aside from Skibby Toilet Run, which still gets some players, surprisingly. So lesson learned, if you want to make a good game, you might want to spend more than an hour on it. But let's be real, none of us are actual developers. We're dumb YouTubers. Our games were pretty bad, and this whole idea was more just for fun and curiosity. But as far as real game development goes, please do not make Skibby Toilet Run or Plus One Pizza Tower every second. Make something that you're truly <laughs> passionate about. Something personal and engaging. And if you fail, that's totally okay. In the grand scheme of things, failures are only ever opportunities to grow. The only reason my second game was so successful was because I was able to learn so much from my first game. So accept your failures because they'll only make you better. I know that's right. I loved everything about this video. This is the chaos that I be signing up for. Okay, period.